Um, hello, uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I want to talk today about personal number and uh, about my Dr. Jack and Mr. Wright relation between what is uh, subjective, what is non-measurable, qualitative, because you expect that architecture are creative and everybody say think out of the box and do mistake, but then no, you go in jail and uh, you will have to pay if you do mistake. And so how you manage that, because you have to live in a two dimension and find a way to put everything together. So, oh my God. Okay, uh, when we think about creative uh, atmosphere impalpable, this is uh, Gabriele D'Annunzio house uh, in the Lago di Garda, is an Italian poet, and you see that as very inspirational, uh, like uh, very emotional and so on. Uh, Gabriele D'Annunzio was a kind of control freak, so his uh, think is not casual, inspirational, is highly designed and obsessively designed at the equilibrium of the color and everything. So this is to open, ash, uh, go up, Allah. This. Okay, so uh, when you do a project, it's more or less like this. A successful project, you don't see what are the rules behind, you don't see what is happening, and if it's good, it's good. But the fact to make it good, you have to be super precise, you have to measure things, you have to control the ingredient and the way they relate to quantify that. So uh, this to give you an idea is the same translation. This is the same project, a project I did. Uh, basically, to make it happen, you have to translate all that in number, size, thickness, length, rotation, glossiness, and so on. So you say that and you say, ah, it's creative, it's inspirational. No, 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 it's just number, number, number. So, but our personal number, because you as designer, you choose the number you want to work with. and the reality you work with. You have to speak with industry, with guy manufacturer. So whatever is so inspirational become number, like uh, a shiny bright uh, energy orange is a RAL 2000. And so when you want to have a project becoming a project, it has to be number. A cool, light, uh, uh, warm environment is a Kelvin number of the light frequency, so it's very number. As when you buy a product, when you buy a product, you have a kind of number sequence that gives tell you how is the product, how is behaving. So uh, all this, and this can be a way to represent some of the number I deal every day with architecture, scale Y, Z, rotation, distance, etc., etc. So how, how you can be creative in the middle of that? Uh, if you start to play with this number, it is, okay. You can see that by editing a couple of variables, in that case, you have the same space that you change the number and the depth of this length, and you can obtain a space user-friendly or kind of you don't feel so right like this, right? So the saturation of this number, you just edit a variable, your variable, because you're a designer and you pick your number, uh, you have, they can change the way in which you perceive the space. So uh, number are just, not the number itself as the past and so on, but they, like the, the receipts you cook, but they how, how they relate, how they connect is not that this chair is green, but is this chair is facing an audience. So everything is always related to something else. You never have static number, but you have dynamic one that interact one to each other. So I was, okay, this is the thing, so, but how I handle all this sensible variable and this, uh, how I represent that in a model that I can handle and then I know what I get and I don't go in prison. So uh, I was wondering about that and I've been invited in a research center dealing with uh, complex system in uh, New Mexico 
And there was 70 scientists uh, making the same question about how you do that in biology, how you do that in computer science. So basically this uh, is not that this is the solution, but it's my representation system. So you see all this little thing is how numbers are connecting. It's not about anymore what is the number, but how they are evolving. <laughs> Okay, for example, this uh, is an example of a portable installation uh, we did um, that uh, recently in New York, the goal was to put it in a windsurf bag because I'm a windsurfer. And we decided to do this rail system and some latex elements that uh, this was all the logic. But the way in which you edit the number of your latex sequence is changing the transparency, the level of interaction in the space is changed. This number become active for the person activity. So uh, the way in which you edit the number is you can change the spacing and again this variable. And this is more or less the data you put as creative reduction. Is you say for me it's matter me my personal number is the distance, the nesting, the way in which elements cross. And you put all data in a kind of file you do yourself to say, for me it's important this. I connect the division, the division is how many pieces you have. I connect this with this and this is affecting the diameter. So yourself, you decide who is affecting what. So this was this thing. Uh, oh my God. Okay, it's moving. And this in a more research profile. We are doing a park in uh, Eolic Park. So you have a, a horizontal turbine that they adapt and fit to the landscape type. And again, you have the number, the shape of the landscape. They are affecting the space, etc. The second question is how you do innovation. Okay, if you do something new, you do it wrong, you go in jail. Uh, if you do something old, uh, eventually you go in jail also because you haven't then been updated. So this is a problem. Uh, so uh, the taking account from the complexity science, again, the way in which you create a new element, a new organism, is by combining things you already have and you know very well how they do behave. It's, it's a mix between a corporate space and a professional incubator. Why is a mix and not just a co-working? because you want to share, but you also want to have the time to focus and produce yourself what you want to do. So we divided the space in level of socialization and privacy. You can see different moments, uh, but uh, how you translate in number privacy? So let's do that. Okay, you want your table, you want to share a a space, but you don't want somebody looking at your document. So we could obtain the same result by doing a larger table and a smaller screen, or a smaller table and a larger screen. These are the numbers you pick yourself to say, I prefer to share the overall space by the same level <coughs> of privacy. Another aspect has been conceived to socialize, but people are shy, they don't just socialize, no? So you need to to create the occasion to do. So for example, in this place, you will never sit with somebody you don't know. So we started to say, what happens if we do something, an hybrid between a bar situation, like in a pub, in which you are, the number of the table is higher, you stay like this, you are not in the same space. I put this image because it seemed again, but it's true, when I, beside the number part, when I, uh, Wait a second. When I do model with my team and so on, we play a lot inside the 3D model. We have people kissing themselves. We have, because you really have to imagine what is happening in the space you are designing. It's very important. So I really have a telenovelas inside the 3D model I design because then you have to be capable to imagine what is going on and translate it in number. Uh, this how you create an hybrid between a subway station and a playground. Uh, a subway station is boring, is dry, etc. We did this project with Cork. We were asking, so how you play? We started to play with the idea. We needed to create this playground in the subway station. 
So we work with Cork. We say playground, playful, playful, body interaction, body interaction, vibration. Um, so we developed this installation that was in Cork, and it was playing with the idea of number in terms of flexibility. Our variable is to say, I move a position like this, is my element is vibrating like this, and when I move the Z position, is less vibrating the response. So again, you numerize your idea of playfulness. This is when they were creating the tank. This is the people in the subway station, the children playing in the subway station. Uh, these are the people, because then when you see something that uh, is done to be interactive, then there were some dancers testing the relation between the number and the space. And this is what I teach to my students. Um, I have four minutes. Yeah. What I teach to my students, this is about Photoshop, because you have people doing whatever in the space. So you never meet somebody like this in the middle of nothing. Uh, this is a good Photoshop that is informing you about what is happening in the space. You clearly see that this window has to be there to create an interaction with. And this, so this is how saying that you really have to design, okay, all these elements become number, but before you have also to think realistically what is going to happen, which movement people are going to do. For example, if you say, I want to create a curiosity, if you put a window that is in a, low, in a lower level, people would start to do like this. And this is the relation between the Photoshop and the real fact. Okay, so this is a, an interactive installation we did for the furniture fair. Oh, I'm sorry if there is a... Uh, they, they ask us to in, uh, investigate the relation between uh, virtual and physical uh, socialization. So there was this system with, uh, in each, this kind of double gallery, in each side there was a projector and a camera. If people were close to a wall, they would see uh, now, far from the wall, they would see themselves. Close to the wall, they would discover new people in the other side, and they would start to play and socialize. Uh, and this, again, was transformed in number. So how much you enclose the space? What is the delta between the elements to control the variation? What is the opening? We were controlling the way in which you would create the opening. This, again, this kind of number tank. Uh, and this also, sorry for the brand, is uh, also how you design a user experience in some, uh, you vary a geometry based on the type of effect you want to create. And this is, that's it. Punto. I have one minute left. <laughs>